So I'm off to see my friend Ginny, Virginia. She um, she's an she's an old salty, um, and she's been sailing for about 30 years. She plays the ukulele, so I'm going to take my guitar over and we're going to have a little jam today. So Ginny chased me down in the street, and we got to chatting about sailing. You don't meet people like Ginny every day, and for that reason, I want to tell her story. Ginny was diagnosed with a rare disease called myasthenia gravig when she was 18 years old. It affects her muscles and left her bedridden in intensive care at home for five years. With a proper dose of medication, she is now able to live a more normal life and the life she chose was one on the ocean. Her first big sail was the Sydney to Hobart in 1994 with sailors with a disability. She says there was something wrong with all of us, but they successfully completed the race. She then purchased her current boat, which she still lives on to this day, an Adams 42 called Overproof. This boat she has sailed to and around the Pacific and has also single-handedly sailed from Nomea in New Caledonia all the way to Fiji. I had to get the Fiji there before I pick up the cruise on or single-handed over to Fiji. So from from Nomea? Yeah. Mm. That's about as far as I've seen in a home Yeah, on, on this boat? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and all kinds of weather and uh, Was it to windward most of the way? Yeah, yeah, yep. well we had, had some pretty strong winds so mm. right down the storm generally. Ginny is a reminder that life is what you make it. Her passion for learning and living is inspirational and I've enjoyed my time learning from her. <laughs> we suck at sea. Today is sail fitting day. We have had a new head sail made and Ben from Quantum Sails is here to fit it. It's a pretty crappy day outside but let's see what's going on. Yeah, and really keeping over one side just to keep it off the walkway. Yeah, yeah. So it doesn't really matter where it goes on there, right? No. On a race boat, we'd be like pulling it right in and everything, but you just don't need that upwind efficiency. Nanji has not had a head sail for months. Fitting the new Genoa was a day we'd been looking forward to for a long time. Having a head sail that was designed and measured to specifically fit Nanji is something we've been working towards since tearing our head sail on our very first sail almost a year ago. With the new Genoa now furled on the bow, Nanji is nearly ready to sail once more. This is really exciting. This is something I've wanted to do for ages. So we've got a new head sail on and we, uh, we just have to sheet it differently. So the clue's gonna come a lot further back because it's, it's a big 130% Genoa. So it's gonna be sheeted a lot further back. It's designed for this boat, so Nancy will go a lot quicker, but we got to install these, which are the head sail tracks. So I've marked out down the spot here. The sail will come down from the clue onto the tracks. It'll go aft, and then we'll bring it back up to the uh, old winchy boy here. So I've got to drill more holes through the deck, and I think I think they'll go into the right spot, but you always don't really know when you drill holes through the deck, so it'll be exciting. We got these big backen plates made up, so just to relieve the stress or to spread out the load across the deck basically, but it's all good in theory, but underneath, oh, there's just bits of bulkhead and that sort of stuff that get in the way, you know, that was to be expected, so I figured I'll just make one big one and then I'll cut it up where I need to, so. Get the grinder on. I'm a little bit sick today, so don't judge me. I'm holding the bolts down here while Yoshi's um, screwing them in on the top. Just count the 
yang kayak ini Oh, the wheel's uncovered. We are filling up the boat and uh, uh, once we're all ready and stocked up, we're going to go and take Nanji for a test sail. Yeah, yeah. First sail since we've done all of this work. It's been months, uh, months of hard work and um, we're going to finally reap the uh, rewards, I think. Oh, yes. Can't wait. There's a nice There's a ten... bit of breeze today. Yeah, good 10, 15 knots. Perfect. Yep, yeah, yeah. get the head sail out with the new furler and see how the rigging goes and yeah, can't wait. We're only moving a couple of hundred meters, but damn, it feels good. We're just going down close to the land so we can zip over and fill up our water tanks and get all the fuel and food and just making our tender ride shorter. But yeah, this afternoon we're going to go for a sail. Feels good, and Angie looks mint. You'll be right to fill up all those by yourself, yeah? Got to find a way If you wanna go Got to find a way If you want to go There ain't nobody gonna do it for you Got to find a way Remember what that is, mate? for a test sail this morning as the tide was going out but we thought we'd get the boat ready first and then we'd go out this afternoon when all the boats ready but we've gone to go out and it's big tides and uh, yeah the current was just too much eh? it's like ripping through like four knots it's shoaling at the mouth so there's waves so you have to just time it time it to get through and yeah we were, we were doing we were like 1.8 like 1.8 we... knots at two grand revs so we weren't going to risk punching through it. But it was good to have a sus at the entrance, so when we know when we're leaving tomorrow on the outgoing. What you doing? I'm making up a bed for Ben. Gotta love making triangle beds. It's a pretty decent sized space, it's just um, a triangle. <laughs> a little while back we ran a competition for our patrons to have the opportunity to come sailing with us. Ben was the winner and the adventure time has arrived. So at 6 in the morning, Yoshi's gone off to get Ben from land and I got the kettle on, trying to warm up the place and uh, get some coffee into us for this sail. Put him to work early. We're having starter battery issues. We haven't left yet. The guys have been trying to sort it out now for about an hour. And yeah. We ripped that starter out and put the old one in. We resolved what seemed to be the issue and finally we were off. Goodbye, sunny coast. Maybe we should hold against the odds. Maybe favor plays our cards. The time is now and now.
So that's another episode of Selling the Angie. Thanks for watching. Hey, episode 38. Yep. Thank you. Uh, just thank, thanks, Jenny, for having me over and teaching me everything that you possibly can in that small amount of time. Yeah, it was lovely to meet you, Jenny. You're yeah. an amazing lady. Big thank you to Ben for coming out and fitting the sale. We're loving it. Oh, Benny. Ben from Quantum. Yeah. Mate, you have done a good job there, eh? Yeah. Very impressed. We've uh, put it to the test a couple of times and, yeah, loving it. And it might look like we're in a really beautiful spot at the moment, but uh, things aren't always what they seem. We've had the shakedown from hell, and if you knew what what has happened to us, you'd probably be a little <laughs> if bit concerned. Only you knew. Yeah. <laughs> so be sure to check out the next episode. A lot of stuff goes down. Yeah, it's, it's been an adventure. Yeah. So, um, and uh, as always, thank you to our patrons for making these videos possible. And our newest patrons, we have Virginia, Morris, Fonda, Steve. Michael, David, SV August Moon, and SV SV. Welcome to the Sailing Nanji family. Yeah, thanks very much, brothers. Uh, it's it's it feels really good to be able to read out a list of humans' names every time at the end of each video. So uh, we really appreciate it and the support that we get. So uh, thanks very much. Yeah. But uh, yeah, it's been really good having Ben on board, meeting some of our patrons, and uh, yeah. yeah, we've had a bit of an adventure the last couple of days with him, and we dropped him off today. So yeah. cheers, legend. Cheers. Good on you, Ben. Yeah, um, a big thank you to Thomas as well, who's also um, supported our videos. On and um, a massive thank you to Andy. Andy. Uh, the last episode, we dropped our GoPro in the ocean, and we were inundated with people offering their GoPros. And Andy was the one that was shouting the loudest. <laughs> Have my GoPro. Yeah. So thanks very much, Andy. Like, yeah, yeah. We, we can't believe our followers and, and the support that you guys want to give us. So yeah. thanks so much. Like, so many people just wanted to send us their GoPros. So yeah, it was crazy. Yeah. Good on yeah. you, legends, and thanks, Andy, for sending it, mate. Like, yeah. Good on you. Alright, thanks guys for watching. Be sure to subscribe to the channel and I will see you next week. Good on you, catch ya. Peace. Nobody gonna take from me That is set to live your life Rolling her down on your price You got to give all your heart if you want to You got to give all your heart if you want to to give all your heart if you want to be set free.